Hello, Vettel121 here, welcome back, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest VIII. Yeah, she's elegant, kind of like a princess. Anyways, we got a whole bunch of barrels we can break here, you gotta see the life. Medicinal herb. Eh, just break them all. Seed of Agility. And a little herb. Got a pot lid, yay. Twelve gold. Another medicinal herb. And let's check down here. More stuff to break. Okay. That's all we can do there for now. And oh look, it's King Trode and yeah, let's wait to talk to him though. Diary of a Ferryman, whenever I set sail from Port Prospect, I always see a tiny island. The island is but a tiny speck in the vast ocean, but in fact a small building, perhaps even a castle, appears to be standing there. Yeah, who knows, but I'm sure we'll be going there eventually. And yeah, none of that stuff is interesting. Alright, what do we get in this chest? Alright, we get a bronze knife. That will not be useful to equip, because I will never equip it, but it will be useful for alchemy. And, well, speaking of alchemy... I did it! I did it! I finally did it! Ah, there you are. Perfect timing. I've got something to show you. Ta-da! Looks like a normal pot, doesn't it? But it's actually a legendary alchemy pot. Nice. I can see that doesn't mean much to you. Oh yes Allow it does. Explain. The alchemy pot is an invaluable tool for making different kinds of items. It lets you mix different ingredients to create hard to find items, armor and weapons. After my kingdom was cursed, I thought it might come in handy, and managed to spirit it out of the castle. Nice. But that's not all. I spent night after night trying to get it working again. Oh, no, no, you can thank me later. Right. Well, it's in my carriage, so why don't you give it a try? It's surprisingly easy to use. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Although the recipes uh, are not always Come common sense. All right, land ho. Relay the rigging and prepare to make port. Aye, aye, sir. Helmsman, bring us alongside Peregrine Key. Well, oh, here we go, man. going to be making a thief's key with the alchemy pot very shortly. <laughs> that way we can backtrack to previous areas and unlock Hello. some good treasure. It, it looks like we've arrived. I'll meet you outside town with Medea and the carriage. It wouldn't do to stir up the natives again with my extraordinary appearance. Yeah, we don't need to be doing that right now. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, we've already got everything on the ship we can get. So, let us explore. Yeah, we got here safely, that's for sure. Yeah, I might as well explore Peregrine Key here. Break some of these barrels. 
Should have some stuff for us, hopefully. Yeah, it's an item shop. I don't really care right now what she sells. I just want to find the items I don't have to buy. Alright, we get a leather kilt. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I might as well equip that on somebody here. Because I never bought one. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Give that to Yangus. Yeah, it's definitely better than Wayfarer's clothes. Yeah, and I suppose I might as well go over Jessica. Yeah, she comes with Wayfarer's clothes, a hairband, and a leather whip, which I will actually be alchemizing later on to uh, make a better whip. But yeah, not right now. Got other stuff to do. Alright, Chimera Wing, and yeah, it's the armor shop. Don't care about that right now. Alright, these chests right here, uh, yeah, we're going to be able to unlock them pretty soon once I find a certain item. Seated defense, very nice. And a dough herb. Oak and club, yay. It's worthless. <laughs> yeah, unless you can alchemize something with it, I don't even know, but I got two of those now, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, time to explore this area now. Alright then, yeah, let's look at the bookshelves. The sailors. Miss Red. Hmm, private ship, huh? Hmm, okay, apparently this red character has a ship, I guess. Herbal concoctions for beginners. Aha. Try mixing two of the same herb together. You'll get an herb with a stronger healing capability. Yeah, definitely. I will definitely be doing some of that. Yeah, medicinal herb plus medicinal herb probably equals like stronger healing herb or some kind of crap. I can't remember what it's called. Alright, and if we talk to this guy, he gives us an iron nail. Alright. Now that's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. An NPC that was actually useful for a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on the straight and narrow. But we're not. Alright. Now we are actually going to go to the alchemy pot for the very first time. Alright. And what we want to put in the alchemy pot here is... We want to put in... That bronze knife we just got on the ship. And we want to put in a common iron nail. And then all you have to do is go ahead and hit the square button to start the cooking. And the only thing that sucks about this thing is time has to pass before the item is ready. And basically the best way to find out you know whether it's ready or not you hear, you'll hear a ding kind of like a microwave uh, hitting zero and that's how you know the, uh, the concoction is actually done so what I usually like to do is just run around in circles until it is done well I suppose while I'm waiting for it to be done I could explore the rest of this place I guess all right we get to see the magic I don't know if there's anything else to find maybe there is up here Yep, absolutely. Alright. Hmm, what do you have to say? 
If you're not interested in alchemy, you should always try to have a look. Any bookshelves you come across, blah blah blah, yeah yeah, we, yeah thanks, we already freaking know that. Shut up! Shut up! Yeah, shut up, jeez. Blah 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 blah. Uh, no, I haven't actually. Oh, Myla Abbey, huh? Abbott, Abbott Francisco. Hmm. Poor Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Alright then. Well, yeah, hold on. Alright, I just heard the microwave go off, so... Let us go to the alchemy pot and see what we concocted. Alright, we made a thief's key. Yep. And we get a thief's key, and that's all I want to mess around with right now. So, now that we can now that we have the thief's key, we can actually come over here and unlock these chests. Alright, we get 200 gold from that chest. Very nice. And he's gonna let us keep the contents of the chest. Wow, what a nice guy. Usually, you know, he like, just give us half of what's in there. A little bit of it, but yeah, okay, we find a boomerang. Big whoopie do. I don't use boomerangs in this game. Alright, and we get a mini metal. Also very nice. Alright, for the next recipe, I bought a scale shield off screen, an extra one. And what we want to do is we want to take crap. We want to unequip Jessica here. Yeah. Go to the alchemy pot. Alright. Now we want to take this and that scale shield that I just bought and go ahead and start this up and we should be able to make a really nice whip for Jessica. So there you go and once it's ready I will show it off. Alright after running around in circles for about eh, I'd say about five minutes the alchemy pot has something else for us. Alright, and it's a snakeskin whip, which is very, very nice. So yeah, let's take a look at the snakeskin whip. Uh, yeah, he can't use it, but Jessica can. And yeah, that, this whip is basically double the attack power that uh, the leather whip was, so yeah, probably the best whip yeah, it's gonna be a very good whip for a while, actually. It's not obviously not the best whip in the game, but it's pretty damn good for this point in the game. So there you go. Oh, and I guess I might as well go over what they sell here at Paragon Key, I guess. Oh wait, crap. Uh, yeah, I'll wait until daytime. All right, what do they sell here for weapons? Okay, you can buy a thorn whip here, but as you can see, it's not even as close to as good as the uh, snakeskin whip. You can also get an iron la iron lance, uh, farmer's size. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing too special there. Nothing too special there. And over here at the armor shop, if I would talk to him instead of breaking stuff. Yeah, you can buy scale armor, which is pretty good. Silk robe, which isn't bad, but it's not great. Chain mill, which is pretty good also. Scale shield, of course, because I got one earlier. And a pointy hat. Uh, you know what? I think I might as well pick up one of those. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit better. Yangus needs a little bit more defense. So yeah, there you go. In the next episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII, we will explore the Myala Abbey. We will travel there. We will find out what we need to do next. 
and we will go from there. Uh, yeah, even though I have the thief's key, I'm gonna still wait until I get our fourth party member before I go back and do item collecting and all that stuff. So there you go, this is Veto121. See you next time.